Hello everyone. It's been a minute since I've posted a video on here and to be honest, I don't I didn't even know how to even start this video and how to even do an introduction or how to bring this video um to you guys or this um yeah, how to just come to you guys, but I'm just going to speak from the heart. I've got nothing written out, I've got nothing planned, but I just want to share with you guys a story you know my story um i know i've been off youtube for a while a while some people might say too long some people might say i've given up on youtube i don't know but um yeah but that throughout that time first of all i felt like i needed to to be quite honest because I'll start from the very beginning. When I started YouTube, um, the ultimate reason, like literally, the reason I start, I created a YouTube channel, literally, was because I had a service um, at the church I used to go to, and literally after that day, I got home and I was like, something was like, oh, I need to start a YouTube channel just to talk about God, just to share His wonders in my lives, and maybe just share the little knowledge that I have about God, and maybe. That can impact someone's life in some way you know um so i created that channel i did a video straight away i was like i introduced the channel i think i don't know i think i think i took the video off but i might have to put it back because that video was the reason i started youtube and it's the reason i'm rededicating youtube back to that same reason so i started it and i did my intro video and i explained why i started youtube and explained what my channel was going to be about but somewhere along the line, um, somewhere along the line, you know, like life goes, other things take a hold of us and our priorities tend to change. So my message and the reason why I created YouTube just kind of got a bit blurred. And not that I regret any of the experiences and the things that I learned throughout that process. But now I've come to realise and everything that i was and everything that i needed to know um it was all to bring me to this place but now i'm saying goodbye to it and now i'm saying goodbye to sheree sessions i'm saying goodbye to what it is as much as i'm grateful um for everything that i've been able to experience on this youtube channel i'm saying goodbye and I'll say what I'll, I'll explain why, okay? So throughout the time where I've been away from YouTube and I've just been in my own headspace and in my own corner, I've been able to, I don't even know how to say this. I don't even know how to approach it or to bring it to you guys, but something has transformed. I'm just going to say exactly as it is. Something in me has transformed and it's become completely brand new and it's god god has changed my heart in a way that i never expected and he needed me to take the time off youtube so i could find him and really know him you know i first gave my life to christ just to just to make you see the picture a bit clearer i first gave my life to christ when i was about 16 16 17 and um that's a story that i'll probably share at some point um because it's a whole story of, on its own it's like <laughs> yeah wow it's that type of story but i i gave my life to christ at, you know when i was still in school figuring things out and figuring life out and figuring out figuring out what um my purpose was and what god wanted for my life and things like that so i was still trying to figure all that out you know um but the, 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 the transformation that happened when I first gave my life to Christ, I never really understood it. I never really understood the magnitude of it. I never really understood the power of it. I felt it. It was in my heart. I knew it came in me. But I never really understood what it meant and how how, how it can change everything and how it was supposed to change everything. I didn't know how to really to, i didn't know what to do with it if that makes sense so i i felt the holy spirit come over me i felt jesus presence in me 
but I didn't quite know how to navigate myself around that and I didn't know what to do with it you know there was still a lot I was still figuring out figuring out at the time and I, I and I realize now why that is and I know why that is now but at the time I was you know I was I was going to church still you know I had this fire in me I would go to church I would watch tv programs and I would watch pastors preaching and I would, I would listen to God's word and you know I, I, would, I would just ask questions and I was so eager for more of God but somewhere along the line that fire kind of died down little by little by little until I, don't, I almost didn't feel it anymore i think the only time i could really maybe touch into it is when i was in worship when i was singing a song and worshiping god then i would sometimes feel it overwhelm me and then that would just die down so it was it kind of that became a pattern of my life for 10 years like for over 10 years that's just the way i started to live just not having that extreme fire and not feeling that spirit in me day in day out it was almost just like something that I felt sometimes and um, didn't really, you know, still just going about living my life and doing my doing my daily, my daily life and living my best life and all that. Um, until, there's always an until isn't there. <laughs> until, until recently, God touched me a second time. And I heard a message recently that, because I didn't, I didn't understand it before. But then I heard a message. God, God, God spoke to me through this message that was preached by. Um, I'll put his name um, down somewhere, but you guys might not know him because I watched it on a TV program. So he spoke this message about first receiving the Holy Spirit and then a second touch. And I got so much clarity in that message because the second touch opened my eyes completely. So much so that everything makes so much sense now. Even the things that I had questions for before, the answers are just right there. So it's like every question that I have, whether I turn to God's word or I listen to the Holy Spirit or I listen to other people, the answers are just there. So it's, it's transformed me in a way that I can't really explain. And all I want now is for everyone around me and everybody that I know, even people that I don't know, all I want for them now is to experience the second touch because we give our life to Christ the first time, okay? We say, God, here I am, use me, but we don't really know what that means until he opens our eyes a second time and he really shows us. He really shows us what it means to give our life wholly, fully and completely to Jesus because walking with God that is that is not just a spiritual thing that is a physical it's it's as physical and it's as factual to me now than anything like 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 anything else like night and day it's as real to me as every fact that is on this planet when i walk every time i get out of bed brush my teeth go to the shops go to work i'm walking with jesus literally and physically in me spiritually especially so i just wanted to share this because the feeling that is in me now although it's hard to put in words i know the holy spirit is expressing it in a way that will touch lives and that is all i want to do now is to share it in a way that people can understand because i never really understood i never really understood it and i don't think anyone will really, really ever understand it until they experience it i know that's a fact we can never really understand it until we experience it but i think if we have people that we can see we can actually see the transformation working and see it happening then our, we we will be made to believe in a way that we probably never did before and we'll be made for our minds and our eyes to be opened to receiving that same spiritual guidance and just for our eyes to be open in the same way like for example say if you see someone next to you who is in church and they are praising and they are shouting and they are praising god with everything that they have and you're sat there like they're doing too much like you need to calm down and you don't feel like you have that same zeal for god as they do i beg you ask god why that is because i never did <laughs> i never did I, I stood there and i said 
you need to chill like i know god is good and i love him too but you know don't overdo it then people will think we're crazy people will think we're, we're, we're mental that like, this is why people say christians are brainwashed you know that's what i would think in my heart you know when i when i would see someone rejoicing and praising god with all their soul stamping their feet rejoicing and shouting and saying hallelujah i would think calm down but now i'm i'm literally walking around my house all i'm doing is stamping my feet shouting to god praising him i can't help myself and i wish i wish someone had told me listen don't look at that person and, and think there's something wrong with them. Just maybe think you're missing something. Maybe there's a reason why you're not stamping your feet and jumping in that same way. And ask God to give you that same spiritual energy and worship. To give him glory like the person next to you is doing. If, if, you're, if you're in a place where you're a Christian, but your life hasn't been transformed by God. And God isn't the only thing that you think about. Yeah, you live your life and... You've got kids, you've got your job, you've got this, you've got that on your mind. You're so stressed, you're so worried, you're so caught up in your own life. I'm telling you now, you need to give it all up. I had a phone call just then and um, it was actually literally just very much about the same thing I was just talking to you about. Um, someone called me and they were in the same place where it's like they're so stressed. And I just had to take a moment to talk to them because, you know, when we get to that point where our lives, our lives is just so, it's taking so much out of us that we can't, we don't have any more left to give. All we can do is just get on the phone and rant to someone who we know will just listen, right? So that's just, that's just, I was just, I just had to take the call. So the video got interrupted, but it's the very thing I was just talking about. And a lot of us get to this place where everything become so overwhelming and so stressful and we never think of the reason why we never think why am i so stressed we think oh i need a holiday oh i just need a break or oh, i just need to take some time off work oh you know we, we find different reasons that are of this world and reasons that will only um suffice for a certain amount of time and then it's like a cycle and then we go straight back to our lives and then we get stressed out again and then we get worked up again and then it's like boom and then it's like okay i need to book a holiday okay i need to do this and then it's like a, it's like a cycle right so i just want to tell you about a love that never ends something that when it consumes you it only grows and grows and grows and grows you don't want for anything more the stress gets taken away everything gets taken away you you find yourself in a place where it's like you never you never knew you could be this happy you know even even if there's so much going on around your life like things are falling apart like people will say what are you doing like do something like you're you're losing your job call somebody like do something you're just standing there like do something do you know what i mean people are stressing out and you're you're just like i'm so chilled i'm so happy i have no worries I can I can dance, I can stamp my feet. Yeah, that's happening, but phew, I don't care about that. I'm happy. I'm endless joy. If you ever want to feel that in your life, only one person can give you that. Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can give you that. Like, it doesn't matter what you do as a Christian. It doesn't matter if you're going to church every Sunday, praising him. Yeah, that's all great and that's wonderful. God loves that. He loves to see our devotion and our dedication to him. But first, he needs us to be open to having Christ living right inside of us, wholly and completely. We need, to, we need to give up everything. Do you understand? We need to sacrifice and give up ourselves because God has already sacrificed for us and he's already given up so much for us. So the little that we can give him is nothing compared to the much that he has already given us. Uh, this is not a sermon. I'm not trying to preach, but it's just so much inside of me that it just wants to come out everything that i say everything that i do it just wants to come out all that i can talk about is how good god is and how his grace has saved me and how i'm just so filled with so much joy that it's, it's taken over everything it's taken over my entire being like i don't even know how to express it is that is that insane like it's taken over my my intimacy it's taken over 
my commitments, it's taking over my thoughts, it's taking over my heart. It's, it's just, I'm just completely so taken by God. You know the word when they say, oh, you're taken by someone, you fancy someone so much, you're taken by them. That's how I feel now by God. Like he's all I want and he's all I, I need. And I literally cry at the thought of him ever leaving me. Like, you know, when you're so in love with someone and it's like, if they ever break your heart, you could cry forever. That's how I feel. I feel like if he ever left me for one split second, I, I don't want him to leave me ever, not even for a minute. I want him to be with me all the time. And I feel like for us to do that, we have to get rid of everything we've known or been taught. Um, we have to just accept Christ. Let him make that transformation happen. Don't stress about, oh, but if I give my life to Christ, then I have to live like this. Then I can't have sex. Then I can't drink. Then I can't do this. Then I can't do that. Then you think, oh, actually, maybe I'll wait. No, the time is now. He wants us now. And what I want to say is don't worry about pleasing God because when Christ is in you, it's not going to be you trying to please God. It's not It's not this flesh trying to please God. It's Christ in us that will please God. Do you understand? So I just want, I just want people to know that. I want people to hear this message. I want people to realize that God is here now and he's, he's, he's done waiting. He doesn't want to wait anymore. He's like, I'm here now. Have all of me now. Now is the time. We need to have all of God right this moment. I literally wake up talking to myself. I'm walking around my flat and I'm just speaking things that are just insane. And I'm realizing, wow, I never, you know, you go to church and you hear messages over and over again and you think, um, yeah, I've heard that message a thousand times like and then it does it just you don't feel the effect anymore but now i'm hearing the, the same messages that i've heard over and over again and i'm hearing them so clearly that they sound so different and they speak so true that every time i hear a word and i know it's from god i'm like amen because i know i know what it feels like and i know what it's like and i'm i'm screaming my head off every time i, I hear the voice of god and every time i hear his word and every time it resonates so true to my heart that is unreal you know when you go to church and you hit and you sit there and you know you you hear the sermon for the day and then you go home sometimes some people can't even remember what was preached that day because whilst they were in there all they were thinking about was what they're going to do after the sermon and we've all been there i've been there sometimes i will go to church and i can't someone said oh what was what was the, what was the word for today I, I couldn't even remember i have to think i'll be like wait hold on <laughs> we've all been there you know but i i think it's time that we get real with the love that god has for us because it's so abundant and it's so filling it's so satisfying and it's so fulfilling that we wouldn't want anything else anyway and we wouldn't want anything to take away from the love you know like when you really care about someone you 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 naturally want to do things that show them respect and don't want you don't want them to go so you would do things that please them um and not because you have to but because you want to do you understand because it's like oh i want to keep them in my life so if i need to cook for them i'll make sure they're, they're nicely fed i'll make sure they're they're okay i'll speak to them i'll i'll, I'll, I'll listen to them and i'll be there for them and it's really that simple. I know that the, the, the gospel, some people think, oh, it's too much. Like people, people go too crazy. But God wants us all to be crazy for him. Just like we're crazy for Netflix. We're crazy for YouTube. We're crazy for the things that are off this world. We're crazy for our houses, our cars, our husbands, our children. God wants us to be even more crazy for him. You know? So I think it's time that we realize that he, he, wants, he wants us to have this relationship with him that is not about rules. It's not about what you do or what you don't do, but it's just about having Christ in you. And it's about walking that walk with Christ. Because, <laughs> like I said, I don't want to preach, but if I start going one way, it's going to seem that like I'm preaching. Um, but all I'm doing is trying to share with you guys what's the transformation that's going on inside of me. I hope you can see it. I hope you can feel it even. I know that this is camera and technically you can't feel, but my God is a limitless God. So I hope you can feel something in you that he's starting and through the story i just want to keep sharing it because i've been made whole and i've been saved by grace and that is a gift and we are not giving gifts to keep a hold of and to keep it closed 
we are giving gifts to share it to give because love gives and once you receive love all you want to do is give and give and give i think it's time that we really sit and think god wants all of me but you need to be ready because when he takes when he takes it all he, t he really does take it all and i will never regret it i will never ever regret telling him to take all of me so all i can say to you is it's not something you will regret because i don't i don't not even for a second for a minute oh it's worth it it's worth it's worth it it's so much worth it the peace the joy the tranquility and just the love that comes with it happiness say happiness comes from within but they don't really understand where the within is they think within is yourself now nah, within is in christ that's where the within is but i'm just gonna leave you guys um with this one message i did a video on youtube not too long ago. well i can't remember exactly how long ago but when i did this message it's i think it's probably the only video i've ever done speak really speaking about the love that christ has for us on my entire channel it's the only time that i felt i watched a video another video on youtube at the time um of an, a guy that speaks on god and his love and and the love of god and i came across the video and i felt something in my heart and i was so com i was so compelled to to go and just say something about this video that i've watched um but i, I don't know the video is still on my channel um i called it um the friend zone and i did this video and basically what i said in the video was that some of us have god in the friend zone and you know what's funny at the time i sat in my car and did that video i had god in the friend zone but i sat there saying things that i know i needed to do for myself yeah but i wasn't saying those things by myself that wasn't the knowledge that i had got from within myself god put that message in my mouth because now i watched that message and now i understand why that message came to me now I understand why at that time I had to go through the things I went through. I could now understand why, why it is that we need to come out of the friend zone and make Jesus our everything. When I, it's so crazy because when I did that video, I was talking about myself as well. I wasn't just saying, oh, you need to do this. You need to do this. I was far compared to say, we, we need to make sure that God is first. We need to make sure that we don't keep going in the friend zone. We need to make sure that we are, we have as much of God's love as we possibly can because that's what we need. So I really didn't understand what I was saying because like I said at the time, I wasn't living with God in me completely and wholly. But this is the thing we need to understand. God isn't waiting for us to be a certain way before he can use us to speak even before they've even repented and, and been saved he can still use them god can use anybody so this is why i want you to know that it's not about who you are where you are where you're from or any of all that garbage that the world wants us to believe or that the enemy wants us to believe it's not about any of that garbage that we wake up with we're told oh if you don't go to school you're not qualified to do this if you don't have this you're not qualified to do that if you don't look good enough, you're not qualified to do this. You know, the world has all these restrictions and it tries to put us all in a box like, you know, this is where you belong. But my God is the limitless God. Like his love is, is, is so limitless. It doesn't matter what you are, where you're from. If he wants to use you and you're ready for him to use you. Because he's always ready to use us. It's, we need to make that decision and say, God, use me. He's always ready. He's, he's waiting. He's just sat somewhere. He's just, he's just waiting. He's just, he has his hand stretched out. He's just waiting for you to grab his hand. He's sit, he's literally waiting, waiting for you. You know, like a child who is sees their parent. The, the parent comes to pick them up from school, and the parent just stands there waiting. And as soon as the child sees the parent, they run like run to their daddy's arms and they grab their daddy and they hug him and then and then they, they grab their daddy's arms or mommy. And, and they just walk and they walk along and they're just jumping and they're so happy that daddy's here to pick me up we're going home i'm so happy they're so excited but they, they, they don't even know why they're excited they just see daddy and then they grab daddy's hand and it's like oh i'm walking this is my daddy everybody 
this is my daddy you know when, when when kids when kids are so excited and they want to tell everyone yeah this is my daddy he's come to get me that is what he wants that's all he wants he wants us to just say daddy and grab his hand and just walk with him and just tell everybody this is my daddy this is who is in me this is who is living in me this is who i am now and that's what i just wanted to say so i'm saying goodbye to who i was she was amazing and god has told me that she did great and she's still doing great but now it's not just it's not just about her it's, it's not even about her now it's about jesus in her and what he can do through her and that's my story so i mean i don't know i feel overwhelmed by it so i can imagine maybe it's a lot for you to take in but i just hope that this message speaks to somebody and from this day on this channel is no longer going to be known as sheree sessions but by the grace of god it's going to become faith and fitness and it's going to be a place where people can share their stories share their journeys and it's going to be a place where we're going to talk more about god focus more on how we can become fit in our walk with him focus on how we can train our bodies and and be as fit as we possibly can in our vessels to serve him and it's still going to be about fitness but in a way that we've never seen or heard before because i know that's what god is about to do so i just i just hope that um somebody says hallelujah or amen at some point in this video and that you can feel what god is about to do and that you can resonate with that so much that you would want to be a part of this journey too so i thank you so much for spending the time to listen because that's all that's all it takes just that one moment you know just take the time to listen and then let god do the rest so stay blessed and hopefully i will see you within the next video whatever that will be because i don't know yet <laughs> but i know god god is in control so i know he will um he will guide that process but yes i'll see you in the next video and closing this is faith and fitness thank you for watching bye